we got some sweetened condensed milk and some cherry Kool-Aid. We're gonna make a really awesome summer pie for you guys. Wow, that smells strong. It smells like cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> Dang. That's like two really- it Invades uh, the nostrils. Yeah, concentrated ingredients together. That is awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna fully mix it because I'm gonna mix the rest uh, with the next step. So let me grab our big mixing bowl. And we're gonna grab some Cool Whip. This is an eight ounce tub. We're gonna dump that in there. I always find this easier to mix whenever I've kind of let it sit out a little bit, not in the freezer. Pour this right on top of there. Whoa. Oh yeah. This stuff is thick, man. Two C's. <laughs> Two C's. Will this one finally be red? <laughs> will it, I think will it, it will be oh, much more red. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, I could add some food coloring. I guess. I mean, it's looking good right now, though. It's like, kind of like a, a pink. Yeah, dude, that looks great. Dude, this is thick. The like, other ones weren't getting this uh, Yeah. This pink. That's well, true. obviously. Well, this colorful. <laughs> But yeah, this color, like yeah. this looks cool. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like way thicker. It's like cake batter. Yeah, it's like it's putting my triceps to work. You could definitely put Ooh. this in a balloon and really hit somebody with it. Oh, yeah. All right, get your graham cracker crust or make one if you're extra fancy. I'm not extra fancy. This works just fine. It looks like gum. Yeah. Or Laffy Taffy. Oh, like, yeah. You just melted some Laffy Taffy in there. That is so true. I feel like this will thicken quicker, right? It yeah. Because it's already... Thick? Like more thick than like the root beer and uh, things like that that I've tried recently. Yeah. Is that pretty good? I think that looks... Let's spread it? It awesome. smells really cherry. Yeah. Open my baking You're abilities. a real pie guy these days. Even though this isn't... Is this considered baking still if you're not like... Baking. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it in the oven. We're making something. It looks like a big like cupcake top. Now let's put this in the freezer for about three hours and check it out. Ooh, baby, that looks good. Woo! What's that like? Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. I see. Let's cut some of this out. It was like shine coming off of it. I know. Ooh, that tastes good. That little finger looking that I got. Oh, cuts really nice. Smooth. Definitely more uh, thick than those float pies that I did. So it doesn't really take as long in the freezer. Probably that condensed milk. Look at that. That is thick right there. Let's try this out. Man, that looks so good. I'm gonna do some Cool Whip. If you had a cherry, that would be pretty smart because um, this is like a cherry pie, but I'm not that smart, so we don't get one, unfortunately. Let's try this out, though. Get some of that whipped cream on there. Like, is it going to taste like Kool-Aid or is it going to taste like cherry pie? It, it smells good. Down the hatch. Whoa. That's amazing. Like it tastes like Kool-Aid pie. Like I don't know how better to explain that. Like it tastes like you're drinking Kool-Aid, but in pie form. Like that is actually really good and refreshing and perfect for the summer. Honestly, I would drink, I would eat this with Kool-Aid like drink. That would be really good together. Man, I should have made some of that. I'm gonna go make some. That sounds amazing. You guys gotta try this one. Wow, look at that. Mmm. Two thumbs up. All right, we're just gonna pour that sweetened condensed milk into the pink lemonade concentrate. This stuff is so good. Okay, now just flip this over and let it run out. Beautiful. Now let's mix that together. We're gonna make an amazing pink lemonade chocolate crusted pie. Guys, you're gonna love it so much. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now that we've got that mixed up, we're gonna grab an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. 
And I'm just gonna dump this right in here. Get all that in there. I'm just gonna fold that in. And this is a no-bake pie, so this only takes a couple minutes of prep work, and then you can put it in the freezer or the fridge to get it um, nice and chilled while you're getting ready, like cleaning up the house, finishing things up for your guests to arrive. Really easy, nice, uh, like hot weather uh, pie and super easy to make. I think you guys are gonna love this one. All right, now to give it that extra pink flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of red food dye. Mix with this white, it's gonna give it a nice pink color. Add some little art in here, just to kind of give people that idea that this is pink lemonade. All right, man, that is smooth. All right, now I've got this graham cracker pie shell. I wanted a chocolate pie shell, but the store was out, so I'm gonna show you a quick trick for how to make that. You just melt some milk chocolate chips and we're just gonna spread this out, let it harden. And it's gonna give us our chocolate crusted shell, which is awesome. Just kind of brushing it like it's paint. Okay, let's put this in the refrigerator for a few minutes and let that harden and then we'll get started. All right, we got our crust nice and solid, just from the freezer. We're gonna pour this mixture in there. Oh man. I got the 10 inch crust, cause this makes quite a bit. You might even be able to make like two eight inch with this amount. Hopefully I didn't go overboard. I think that's perfect. Yeah, so almost used that whole thing. All right, I just didn't want it going over, but I think we're good. Okay, let's put this in the refrigerator for about two hours, let it chill and it's gonna be magnificent. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Okay, it's gonna be a little more difficult to cut because of that chocolate. But I think I can do it. One day I need to invest into a pie serving dish. Whoa, look at that. Let's try this out. Ooh, got that chocolate in there. Mmm. That is good. A little sour. Got a lot of sweet action in there. Gotta try that. Maybe put it in the freezer. I think I took it out a little bit too early. Wasn't all the way as hard as I wanted it, but um, put it in the freezer a little bit longer. I did like two hours in the fridge. That'll really do good, but. All right, we got the blueberry lemonade Kool-Aid. We're gonna make a fresh spring Kool-Aid pie. We got the sweet condensed milk. And we're just gonna stir that in there. Get it really nice and mixed already becoming blue. Okay, set that aside. Get a mixing bowl, a cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna pour that in there and we're gonna whip up some cream. So grab your favorite mixer. I like this one. You can use an electric gun if you wanna uh, be lazy or more efficient than me. I like to get a little workout before I eat my dessert. So I'm gonna do this. All right, look at that. Nice and whipped and creamy. Okay, now let's grab our little concoction of sweet condensed milk and the blueberry lemonade Kool-Aid. Put this all together. Make sure you get all that out. You don't wanna miss any of this stuff. This is gonna be a cool color. I'm excited to see how blue this is gonna be. Okay. And I'm kinda curious if it's gonna be like sour because of the blue raspberry. If it's gonna be on the sweet and the lemonade. Didn't think about that being more bitter. Wow, that's a nice little texture that's going on. Oh, it's kinda turning green. That's cool. All right, give it a taste. Mm. All right, now just dump that on your graham cracker crust. It's 
pretty good right there. All right, now I'll just smooth that out. Wow, this is gonna be good. Yeah, it definitely turned more green than I thought it was going to, but I like it. Okay, now all you have to do is put this in the fridge for three hours and let it harden and let's try it. Oh man, look how that turned out. Nice and hard. Okay, let's see here. Let me cut off a good piece. Try this out. Ooh, that tastes good, that little little finger piece I had. Okay, I think I have to like peel that back. Oh, I had a little lemon I want to put on there and a little something there. Make it look pretty. I meant to put that on there, I just got so excited. Okay, let's try this out. Gotta put some more Ready Whip on it. All right, here we go. Let's see. I can't wait. I worked hard on this one, so it should be really good. Man, that is smooth and creamy. It's like spongy too. That's really soft. And the the um, whipped cream really took the edge off of like the, the bitterness that I was wondering about. So really good. You should try this one. You already know what this is. We're gonna pour this into a third cup. That should be good. All right. It's okay if something falls over. Oh yeah, I mean, ideally you wouldn't, but half a cup of water. So this is gonna be pretty concentrated, but we're not just making some lemonade. All right, we're making a fresh lemonade pie. Frozen pie, this thing is gonna be so good. Pour that mixture in there, beautiful. A little sugars coming out. We'll do a little scrape, scrape action on that. Okay. Now you want to grab a pint of vividly vanilla, or just regular vanilla. I think that was just a cool alliteration that they used. Someone out there was trying to be cool. Wow, that came out really nice. Okay. Now let's just get this. Whoa. Just kind of break this up. Now let's get some Cool Whip. Original, I got that Kroger brand. Uh, you oh. don't wipe the spoon? Oh, no. We're don't need to wipe that spoon? Nice. Dunking it. Very cool. It's all going in the same pot. Mm. You know what I mean? Look at that. Now we're talking. Did you know that stirring creates heat? Sorry. Stirring creates energy. Energy creates heat. Mm. Learned that in Chemistry 2 class in college. That's entra entropy and empathy, right? Something like that. Yeah. So the reason why you stir like sugar into your coffee is be and why it works to blend it quicker is, is it's actually making, technically making your coffee hotter. Really? And, and it's dissolving, turning the sugar or salt into a liquid form. Huh. So not only did you guys learn a new recipe, but you learned a new fun fact for your next little potluck. Going around the room, introducing yourself, telling some fun facts around the table. You're welcome. That is interesting. We're gonna get the little hand mixer. Ooh. We're gonna really get this thing broken down. Ooh, nice. Just beat this thing. Didn't we just use that with the chicken? Uh, well, you know. We washed it. Yeah, we, we probably washed oh, it. Oh, that's getting it good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, that oh. is wow. some good stuff right there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's gonna pour out perfect. So now let's bring our graham cracker crust. And we're just gonna pour this mixture right on in there. It's that easy? Oh, it's that easy. Wow. Takes no time. You can Ooh. literally have a perfect summer pie Oof. in minutes. Don't scoop all of that in there. I wanna lick that. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. So look at that. So one step further that I'm gonna take this, and you don't have to, I, I just really like lemon. Um, I'm actually gonna, I, I sliced up a little lemon and it you know, makes it look pretty. So you kept the seeds in there too. Some people are into that. Yeah, because I'm not going to actually eat the lemon, you know. Oh. Yeah. Just going to okay. kind of do that. And then just for some kicks, going to oh. make it look pretty. Well, now right? you have to eat them. Oh, yeah. Just, it's just like a potato chip. Yep. 
Put this in the freezer for three hours and you have the perfect summer pie. Very nice. That looks like as good a spot as any. Very good. Oh yeah. Three hours and we'll come back. Nice. Oh my gosh. That is hard as a rock. This is gonna be so good. Let's see, should I get like a lemon piece? Mm-hmm. Do you we think that these lemons like add flavor to what's under it? Or just, does it just look cool? Oh, definitely. I think it seeks straight through, but I bet yeah. it's just like a circle of flavor. It's yeah. Like the whole. Okay. The whole piece. I didn't know if it like infused it, like essential oils, you know? Oh yeah, watch your finger, that, that thing's going right through the... Oh. Yeah. Bro, just skip the plate, put that whole thing in your mouth. You know what? Or You're right. Yeah. Ooh, that really froze all the way through. Yeah, dude. I gotta take this lemon off though. Cause that's gonna, maybe not. Yeah. Ooh. It kind of smells like key lime pie. Mmm. That's really interesting. I wonder wonder why that is. Okay. That might be the best pie I've ever made. <laughs> I don't know why it tastes so much like key lime pie. Dude, that's epic. But like, I think the ice cream, I guess I just like ice cream a lot, but Ooh, yeah. for some reason this tastes so much like key lime. I don't know. But that's like lemon and lime. I thought those tasted different. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept it and eat this whole thing. That's epic. You should make this. Very easy. Very, very good. Mmm! All right, so we have half a cup of milk, half a cup of Coca-Cola, the classic. Now we're gonna add uh, three ounces of vanilla Jello. We're gonna make some cherry cola pie, or float pie, if you will. It's already gotten like quite so good. creamy over there, if you look. So you grab maraschino cherries, and what you do is you just get the liquid and that's gonna give you the cherry flavor. What? I know, it's a cool hack. It's like cherry flavor instantly. Cherry concentrate. Yep. Now we're gonna whisk this together. And this is gonna be a really cool color. Oh man, that smells Does it so smell good. Like cherry Coke? It straight up smells like you went to Sonic and grabbed a cherry Coke. That light ice. Oh man, they have the <laughs> best ice. Sonic? Yeah. Yeah. My aunt used to go there, she probably still does, goes there and um, like just orders their ice. My parents do that too. Yeah. And they put it in their freezer. It's so good. <laughs> I think now they sell it. Yeah, they too. do. Yeah. It's two dollars. It's crazy. <laughs> that's so smart. Like that's a great marketing tactic for them. Sonic ice. Yeah. I mean, it is the best. So. Yeah, dude. It's this getting good. Like it looks like kind of like caramely. So you're gonna put it in there just like that? No, I'm gonna do some uh, cool it, but you wanna like get the chunks out of the pudding first. Oh, okay. What Gotta do you guys get... think? Eight Comment before you see it because yeah. if you do it afterwards, you're cheating, Yeah, obviously. Cheaters out there. Don't be cheating. We'll find you. All right. Probably not though. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard to find people on the internet. You know? I probably should use a spoon for this. There we go. Oh, that worked. It kind of worked. Yeah. All right, so eight ounces of Cool Whip. And now we just mix that in. Or what do they call it? Fold, Fold it in. It. Even though this isn't technically folding, right? This is just. Yeah, that's definitely mixing. <laughs> Whisking. I like it though. Whiskey in a bowl. Yeah, it just kind of. You guys went... know that song? Whiskey in a bowl. Let's try a little bit of it. Perfection. Mm. Wow, that's good. Okay, now grab a graham cracker crust pie. Always. Pie crust, whatever it's called. Oh man, look how smooth that it looks is. Like a fluffy cloud. I just want to lay my head in it. Oh, I could get messy. I know. Okay. I'm gonna get the rest of this out of there. That is like a perfect texture. It really is. I feel like it's gonna taste exactly like just a melted like Coke float. Mm -hmm. Forgot about your Coke float in the car and then you go grab it. I feel like it's like that's gonna be the taste of it. Ooh, that looks good. 
I don't know how people make it look smooth. I'm just gonna probably ignore that. It's gonna taste the same, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's put this in the freezer for about an hour or so, and then we'll do some little garnish fancy things on it. Ooh, that smells good. What does it smell like? It smells like cherries and Coke, honestly. Oh my gosh. I mean, who would have guessed? Right? So I'm gonna do a little bit of garnishing. Y'all don't have to do this, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun. A little cutesy. Put some stuff on there, and then, well. You already know. Probably should've done like this, right? That would look cooler. Yeah, you gotta have something to work off of. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, baby. Bone apple teeth right there. So let's just cut straight to the bottom of this. You know, let's just like cut right to the chase. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know how this crust is gonna hold up, but honestly, I don't really care because I'm just excited to try this. I think as, as long as it's all there in the bite, it's going to be fine. Man, that is... So, I probably could have left it in the freezer a little bit longer, but I like mine a little bit soft and moist. So, I'm just going to grab some of this. Let's try it out. Here we go. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah. Whoa! I got like a big, like, carbonation from the cola kick at the end. That is solid. It literally tastes like you had a cherry Coke float and it melted a little bit in the sun and you're just eating that sucker. Man. Mmm. That's good. Put that back in the freezer. Eat the rest tomorrow.